Hello everyone, I just wanted to show everyone our Danger Zone P25 fire suppression vehicle. This is done in 1-6 scale. It is a kit that uh, I produce and sell and you assemble it. And as of right now, I got one here for a customer and I've only taped it together. So it's only held in tape. I haven't glued anything. It hasn't been painted. All the parts you see come in the color that you see them in. And I'm just gonna go over some of the features. It has a straight rolling axles with rubber tires. It has a engine back here that you could detail up and paint up. You could put lights inside it to illuminate it if you want, but uh, it's just all mesh. It's got functioning doors where you can stow away firefighter equipment. I've only pinned one for in the rest. You can see I have taped. It's got a, a top on it for you to throw extra gear and accessories. It's got a functional, uh, this slides on like a hitch. You can see the post, it just slides in the back. I recommend you glue it if you want it on there. It's also got a diamond plate piece that you can paint and glue on top of here. Um, it's got a functional locker in the back where you can stow more equipment. Now I will give you two of these med kits with the uh, fire truck and you're gonna get these three fire extinguishers with the fire truck, okay? Um, here's the other med kit. I just kind of double side taped it here. It's got uh, two chairs. It holds two drivers or, uh, or two GI Joes. Um, it's got a functional spool. Again, it's not been glued. You'll have to glue that. It has to print in two pieces, but you can put some black tubing on here or yellow tubing or whatever you want for your hose. Um, the locker is hiding the dowel pin that you would use to put this in place. Now, I do not give you any of the pins or dowel pins. Uh, they're just dowel, uh, wooden rods. Uh, here in my demo, you can see I just stuck some nails in here for the hinges, but you can, you can trim them, obviously, or you can use wooden dowel pins or plastic tubing. But uh, the kit, otherwise, you'll get the locker, you get the rollers, you get the rubber tires, you get the three fire extinguishers, you get the two medic kits, you get the top rack, you get the seats, steering wheel and then the the kit is at four big pieces one two three four you can see where i've just taped it now it's because it's just taped you know you need to use like a good epoxy and some clamps squeeze it together tighten it all up real good um but uh this is the p25 fire truck it definitely does not come with this firefighter this is my firefighter i just wanted to take some pictures and enjoy having it put together first time we built one and they are now, you can now order these. So the cost on these is $550 plus shipping. And you can reach us through the messenger on Danger Zone to order your P25 fire trucks. I uh, probably would recommend that you guys use magnets to keep the door shut because they open real easy. And the cabinets do just go all the way across. So there's plenty of room to store some really fun stuff. The steering wheel wheels spin. It's just held on with a screw. And again, like I said, everything I have on here is just taped. You will build it, you will assemble it, you will glue it, you will paint it. You can paint it a different color. You can make them red, you can make them yellow, you can make them blue. You can add your own vinyl graphics to it. And that's the P25 fire truck.